everybody, this is Kim from Put A Cup In It and I wanted to bring you a quick review of the new Dot Cup. And I say new because it's fairly new. It came out this year. In fact, it was one of the cups that we put into our fun little Instagram stories poll that we just recently wrapped up on um, for the best new cup of 2018. While it didn't win, it was actually a pretty tough competition. It's one of the cups that has really done a great job of getting its name out there. In fact, I think it's carried by free people online, which is a really big accomplishment. And the unique thing about the Dot Cup, um, two things. It is just one size, so you just buy one Dot Cup. You're not choosing between a one or a two or an A or a B or whatever. Um, so it somewhat simplifies the process, not to say that that's the best way to do it, but in some cases, maybe in boutiques, it might help people get on the bandwagon for picking a cup. And the other thing is that it's black and it only comes in black. And I'll add that they have this amazing designer pouch, it's a zipper pouch. And I love the pouch that comes with it. People ask us if we share it on Instagram where they can get this pouch and it only comes with the dot cup. So, I've been using it and I think I've used it for a total of two and a half cycles on and off. I'm always kind of running things into the rotation of my vagina so it doesn't um, take, it takes a long time for us to review anything. Um, we each only have one period and of course um, we have a lot going on that we're testing. So um, to say th this is actually a cup I've been recommending to people who like the Diva Cup because it is very similar in the length and the uh, diameter and also pretty close in firmness. So let's bring out the Diva Cups and this is a size 1 Diva Cup, this is a size 2 Diva Cup and the dot is right in the middle. I looked it up on our chart as well. The diameter of the dot cup is right in the middle between a 1 and a 2. So um, diameter wise there um, is right in the middle and length wise it's actually less. So length wise the dot is shorter than um, both sizes of the diva cup which I find helpful. So once you cut the stem, the dot cup is a little bit shorter, which is um, the reason I can't use Diva Cup is that it's too long for me. So I can use the dot cup. On the firmness chart, when we sort of compare all of our cups, the dot comes in at a 2, which is softer than Diva. Diva's a 3, and we kind of measure everything against a Diva because it's that perfect average firmness. And it is just a great starter firmness. Um, it's one of the things I really love about the Diva Cup. Um, the, the dot is a bit softer, especially in the body, so it's hard to, you know, because you can't feel it, it's hard to explain, but the dot's body is really squishy, very, very thin, um, the silicone feels like it's thin, um, but the rim has a lot of resistance to it, so even though this is not going to be applying any pressure once it's inside, which is an issue with some of the firmer cups, um, the rim could apply some pressure depending on your sensitivity, but having a firmer rim is really helpful when you're putting a cup in because you want it to open and resist. So unless you have um, previous issues with firmer cups and you had that bladder pressure or uncomfortable feeling or cramping or even pain um, from using a firmer cup, or if you're new to cups, you're looking at DOT and you're wondering if it will work for you, it's hard to know. Just for any cup, it's hard to know what firmness your body is going to like. Um, we do say firmer cups are better if you're more active because they stay in place better. And um, I would say that if you've had any sort of bladder issues, um, if you're just a sensitive person in general, uh, crampy, um, have some of those health issues or, or just annoyances, then maybe a softer cup is better. This one is sort of hard to pinpoint because I think the firmness might be a little too much for some people on the rim. Um, but that being said, I do have issues with some of the firmer cups, um, some of the fours and fives uh, that we have tested before in, in terms of a slower urine stream or even bladder pressure. Um, but the dot didn't really do that for me, so the body is soft and I didn't detect that the rim was um, causing any firmness issues. So it could be a nice happy medium in there. Um, the grip rings on the dot are very pronounced, so it's easy to, to get a little handle on. It has a flattish but wide stem, so there's no risk of the stem being pulled apart or breaking, which some of the, the, the really tapered, thin stems 
um, can feel like there's there's nothing it just stretches it doesn't feel like it's helpful and of course we all know and if you don't here's your lesson that you don't pull the stem to remove your cup just by the stem you have to break the seal to remove your cup um, but you can use the stem to very gently guide the cup lower if you need it before you pinch the base to remove it so there's not a lot to say about this cup i find it's very middle of the road in just terms of the length and the diameter and um, the way it feels inside, it works of course, that's important for me to tell you even though, even if a cup doesn't work for me, I feel like I can review it because if it doesn't work for me, it still works for someone, it's just not the cup that works for me, I just like to convey that information because um, a cup that works for me doesn't necessarily work for you um, because it worked for me. Every single person's body is different and um, it's hard to know, even just watching a million reviews, what cup will work. It's interesting that they have opted to do this one size model as sort of a, a simpler way of um, going about things because really when it comes down to it, we're not picking between just the two sizes of one brand or the three sizes of one brand. We're picking between all of the sizes of all of the brands and all of the furnaces and finding what works for you. So one brand having five sizes doesn't necessarily help you if those sizes don't fit you. But if you're looking at this brand and it is very middle of the road average, it's not too long, um, it's not too firm, the diameter is really right in a very sweet spot for um, what we consider an average cup. And I do think in the future this will end up on our quiz. We have a place in mind for it and I do want to get it added because I think it's a, a good option for people. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I think the dot has a home for people who like Diva Cup but maybe want it to be a little shorter. Um, even though it's not the same firmness throughout, it's it's kind of a, a two in the body, but like a three and a half, four in the rim. So in the middle, it kind of hits that three where Diva is, sort of. Um, and I, again, they have this uh, really wonderful sense of style. They have this great pouch that it comes with. It comes in a little cardboard recyclable tube. So we like to see brands doing uh, sustainable packages, uh, packaging when possible um, and I do think that they're probably going to be in a lot of boutiques and things so it's fun to see the uh, the brand getting out there and they like this black they consider it sort of a sleek sexy chic color um, I mentioned in my stash video that uh, we had a funny interaction with them on email when we asked if they wanted to be part of our Halloween event where we were featuring black cups and we were creating a blog post all about black po uh, black cups which we do have and dots included in that because we just wanted a list because people ask all the time if you know wh which brands make a black cup and it's a popular color because it doesn't show stains and they didn't want to be part of our Halloween event because they didn't want their brand associated with like spooky Halloween or pigeonholing it into um, being just a Halloween cup, which I totally get, but that was definitely not going to happen in our case. So we were sort of um, kind of laughing about it. Two things, other two other important things to note about Dot Cup. One is that they have a one for one program. So it's one of the brands that does um, when you buy one, they give one to uh, a, a person in need who needs a, a menstrual cup, and uh, you can look into that yourself to see how they do it because we have our own. Um, there are some brands that do it well and some that don't. I haven't researched Dot super well, so I can't speak to that. I just know that this is what they publicize and how they do it. So um, feel free, if that's important to you in making a decision, to look into you know how they do it and make sure they're doing it the way that you feel is right. And we're done. That is it for my review of the Dot Cup. As we always do at the end of our videos, make sure you have subscribed to put a cup in it. Subscribe, hit the little bell, make sure you get our notifications as our videos come up. We don't have a regular posting schedule, so that's the best way to know when we have a new video or new content. And if you haven't already, make sure you are also following us on our social channels. We are Put A Cup In It everywhere, so find us on Instagram at Put A Cup In It, Facebook Put A Cup In It, Twitter Put A Cup In It, our dead Tumblr Put A Cup In It. It's all across the board Put A Cup In It. We were very good on our branding. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. Let us know if you have tried Dot or want to try Dot or whatever you want to tell us in the comments that my earrings are distracting, as someone said in one of the previous videos. Uh, sorry, my earrings are too loud for video. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to bring you more content in 2019. Um, 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 hmm, um, um, um. 
Um, um, oh, sorry. We have some things going on here. They just got some Bojangles next door. Um, hmm. They didn't bring me any Bojangles. It's Bojangles. I haven't had breakfast. So 